think of extreme sports, I don't think of guys in wigs, makeup and red noses. But like I said, these are the poets of the void. Pourquoi euh, avoir des personnages en montagne Pourquoi se maquiller en montagne dans des environnements où normalement tu vas juste escalader ou sauter ou etc. Ça fait longtemps qu'on en parle avec, euh, avec une famille et les copains. Et on avait toujours cette idée, cette idée de spectacle, de ramener le monde de la montagne dans le spectacle. Mais comment on le fait finalement Et puis moi j'ai initié, initié pas mal euh, tout ce délire de costumes et de mise en scène un, un petit peu en falaise. Et... Pourquoi elle se concentre Ouais, ouais, ouais. I was partner with Tancred, we were close, and then Anise came and he was also developing a different, uh, a different relationship with him, which was also really strong. And they found themselves uh, on the craziness of some stunts that Tancred was not able to find with me. energy, this uh, capacity that uh, with clown we can show things we do in an other way. We are space where emotions are really true, you cannot fake it. Clown acting really released something. He was really completely excited. Parce que d'un côté, il y a une extrême tension dans un saut, en une suite ou dans des activités comme ça. Et dans le clown, c'est le moment où on lâche. Donc c'est encore... You are free, you know, you just... I think that's what he liked also in clown acting is you... There are no social limits. The clown can do anything. You are free, you really can... Anything is open. We're gonna put a slack line between, between two hot air balloons. We don't really know how the slackline will behave because uh, we haven't tried on the ground with a mobile uh, uncle. So now we will test just at two meters high and we see that it's just we don't know. We don't know. We have to try and we have to test. <laughs> It's a natural human instinct to want to progress, so you start on the two meter high slack line and then you end up jumping off Le Brevon, whatever. Why do we have that need? Why can't we stay on the two meter line? In my very uh, heart, I want to do it. I want to do crazy stuff, new stuff, and I like it actually. I like the danger of it. This, this is life. Life, is, life wants to spread. So we are, we are all searching for, for something and like trying to understand what's next. <laughs> Nous, notre, notre poids avec le poids de la nacelle, c'est à peu près 100 kg. On met une tonne, ça fait 10 fois plus, c'est à peu près 10 G. Ça, c'est le calcul en gros. Quoi. De là, on s'est dit, est-ce qu'on va pouvoir réussir à supporter avec notre corps 10 G Est-ce qu'on va pas tomber dans les pommes ben, C'est là que tu peux tomber inconscient, bien sûr. On a des parachutes, il n'y a pas de système de secours, donc il faut absolument qu'on sorte conscient de cet engin-là. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of 
undercurrent of good sensation and then the ambivalence is that there's this while we are doing stuff that's life threatening if you think about it you know then I think that's when you say ambivalence that's what I'm thinking about and and I, I think sometimes in in the the projects you don't you don't feel this ambivalence not until there's a, a moment where you can release the tension we really experienced this moment as a group, I think, in, in Norway when we, we had built the, the human sling. Attendez, hein? <laughs> okay, moi je suis ready, les gars. Ouais. Oh, c'est bon! Yo! Ready! Salade! Je crois! was in the air and everybody was screaming you know? and and then I really felt oh my god there was all this built up tension all this we were all screaming because we had really been scared you know but we hadn't felt it until we could release it and then we were all hugging and you know and then it was all friends you know sharing a good moment and that was the ambivalence I think yeah <laughs> C'est vraiment rigolo quoi, je pense qu'il faut en faire plusieurs aussi pour... Euh...